so this is a complete project of a grid connected pv cell so in the previous video i also uh, designed a single cell which gives around 200 watts a single pv cell of course and now it is a complete model of a 100 kilowatts grid connected pv cell which is also controlled by mppd controller and the grid and the inverter section was controlled by VSC controller so let's see the details so this is the PV array so this is the PV array this is the parallel string I am not gonna go into the details this is the PV array and I simply plot it so get the maximum power just show you the maximum power so if you get into the more details then the video will be like more than 30 minutes so as you can see it's 107 kilowatts of power it's generated the maximum power it can generate and uh, now uh, so now we getting into the uh, signal builder block uh, so if you if you know about if you're familiar with uh, pv cells or solar cells we know about uh, the irradiation and the temperature so rather than using a constant block which gives a constant value of irradiation and temperature we use a signal builder or signal generator whatever you want to say so in practical if you see in practical scenario the temperature and the uh, temperature of the cell and the irradiation will definitely it will, it will not be constant voltage it, it, it's not a constant value sorry it's uh, it can continuously changing with respect to the time whether it's a morning whether it's evening or this night so you use uh, we use a signal builder uh, so what it does and so if you see the plot plot of the graph of irradiation the upper part is irradiation uh, the lower part is temperature with respect to the time you can see it could be it's going down and going up the temperature is also uh, also it's, uh, uh, primarily it's set to i think 25 yeah it's 25 we're able to set it. uh, it's 25 it's 25 as you can see 25 uh, and in two seconds it will boost up to 50 the same goes to the radiation with 0 0.6 seconds uh, it uh, downward up to uh, 990 and uh, 1000 is the standard irradiation now it goes down and it goes up uh, so if you uh, when we will start out the uh, the simulation you will be able to see uh, the real time values now getting into the other part so this is uh, so now this is a sim as you can see this is a simple boost circuit boost converter circuit uh, we have a, a series inductance uh, capacitor and uh, parallel connected IGBT you can use MOSFET as well so this IGBT was controlled by uh, MPPT control which is run by uh, incremental conductance method but if you are new with it if you have no idea of MPPT I will al always recommend you to use a put up and observe method which is pretty easy at least for me it's easy and you can simply generate a basic code embedded code like this in this model so this all the parameters you can see it's outside so in this uh, in this model i put it inside this and this that is why you're not able to see it but exactly it's kind of same so if you go into this uh, this is in this model i use mppd controller which is nothing but uh, using put up and observe method you can see it's simple basic C, uh, uh, embedded code you can write it down like this so you can briefly say uh, the algorithm it's uh, so when the uh, power is not changing and the voltage is not changing so dv by dp dp by dv is equal to zero so at that moment the, you will get the maximum power so when the voltage is not changing and the power is not changing and derivative of those things will be zero at that point the power you will get the maximum power so this is the basic algorithm for this method now we simply move on to our 
main model this is this model so this is a simply boost converter you can see this is a simple boost converter which is done by uh, mpvt control so to this uh, so basically what it does from the mpvt controller you will get uh, will get the duty cycle and now the duty cycle will be put on to a pwm generator and the pwm generator will switch this uh, igbt on and off so that will get uh, a voltage and a current so let's get into the what is inside the mpvt controller you can see so mpvt controller this is the mpvt controller and this is the pwm generator as you can see we give these three parameters you get the delta with the duty cycle and the duty cycle is fed into the uh, pwm generator and the pwm generator will switch off and switch on the uh, IG. now if you get into the this is uh, this is the boost converter voltage you can see here also have the parameters this is the boost converter voltage p min now we get into the ec part so inverter part so this is basically a three level bridge or universal bridge i can say um, so you can uh, get different kind of uh, wall electronics devices such as igbt uh, got mosfet ideas whatever you are familiar with you can choose it uh, the parameters also set uh, the frequency was set to 60 hertz uh, the voltage is 500 volt at three phase uh, and this uh, universal bridge uh, or three phase inverter will uh, run by a VSC control, voltage source controller. These are all the parameters. If you get into this, I'm not getting into the details because there's a lot of things that you have to understand about the PPL. Inside the PPL, you have uh, the ADC to Q converter. If you know the path transform, there's a lot of things in VSC. You can have to um, read it by yourself. Uh, there's a lot of things. Now, uh, what we have, we have simple filter here, inductive filter. I will make another video about details about designing a filter. It's pretty simple. Uh, there are one or two uh, generals that you can uh, follow for uh, designing a, a filter. Now, what we have, what we have a, a reactive load. There is a reactive load you can get. And, and now we have a transformer. Uh, 100 kVA to 25. So this is a step down transformer. Will convert. Sorry, step up converter. Step up uh, transformer uh, up to 250, 260 volts to 25 kV. And now I have a param uh, the measurement parameters, a three phase uh, measurement parameters, and going into the grid. So inside the grid, you can see there are. Uh, we have 5 kilometer feeder, then we have a 2 megawatts of load, then we have a 14 kilometer feeder and 30 megawatt load, and this is the main grid. As you can see, this is the grid 120 uh, kV, uh, 2500 MV. So this is uh, the main uh, grid, grid source, I would say, and uh, this is the uh, step down transformer that we use here 120 kv to 25 kv and for better grounding we use a grounding transformer it is very important guys uh, to have a, uh, uh, if you need uh, your system to have a high efficiency you also need a good grounding of the system and then we have a quick run <coughs> of the system uh, you will able to see with respect to the time uh, the values uh, the irradiation temperature will change are according to that uh, the power and the voltage so let's quick quickly run this so let's start running so i'll make a detailed video about everything every parameters everything there will be a different video I'll do. and i also make uh, previously also build a, a single model device a single mod a single cell designing uh, a pv cell designing uh, you can check out uh, it's, previously, it's almost like three four months ago i make it now this is a complete project so that is a single cell design and now we connect that into cv parallel to get uh, 100 kilowatts of para, uh, pv array and then we connect it uh, um, 
agreed to it. So, so as you can see, the simulation also st uh, just uh, started. We have the radiation of 1025, and this is the power. And now, uh, this is the power. And now, when the radiation is dropping, you can see the power is also dropping. We also set this parameter as the main parameter to 1000, the initial part. We have the maximum, we have the 100. You see the hundred uh, kilowatts and the voltage. This is a boost converter voltage. The boost VDC boost. So you will not see the the, the drop. It will only drop up to 250. So the voltage level will not drop. So we will have a different uh, current levels definitely. But the voltage level we kind of get a stable voltage. In all kind of uh, all kind of odds, so you can see the radiation drop. It radiation is dropped to 250. You can see the radiation is now 400, and you can see the power is getting dropped. That means our system is running rightfully. And the time is 1.125. So after the two seconds, you will see the temperature will drop. Uh, now it is a time where the it is dropping now it's starting to increase when the time is 1.2 seconds and it started to increase and you can see the power is also started to increase mm, now the radiation was 500 and the power is This is the power of a solar cell. This is not a grid power. Grid power was set to this. This is and here. You can see this is the power of the grid. The power that was going to the grid. This is the power. Uh, in this video, I'm more concerned about uh, the PV power. The power that we're getting from the PV cell. PV array, not cell. This is a lot of series parallel cells are including. So it's a PV array. So you can see the irradiation was now set all uh, set to thousand uh, watt per meter square, and temperature is 25, and the power is also started to increase. It. Now after uh, it's 1.8 seconds, let me zoom in for you. If you're able to see it, I'm not. I'm not able to say this is the now. It, two seconds was done. Now you can see the temperature is started to increase. This is the temperature. Now you'll be able to see the temperature. Now you can see the temperature is starting to increase. Uh, the temperature is starting to increase. We'll definitely have uh, some re reduction of the power. Just watch it. So it goes to 50. Uh, it's almost the runtime of 2.5. So that we have some times here. And you'll definitely have. Uh, uh, now you can see the volt, uh, power is dropped to 92 kilowatts and it's still running but this is i think that's uh, kind of it for this tutorial uh, if you want any if i have any qu queries about the whole system um let me know it's a big project this is a big simulation i have a lot of things here uh, so have to be, everything has to be perfect otherwise you'll have a lot of problems so if you have any problem let me know i will definitely help Thank you.